Hey, it's Reese's Shred Lab, and I had some extra EPS foam lying around from when I insulated my workshop. Instead of throwing it out, I decided to try and make a foil board out of it. I've been using a laser level to line up my blanks on my machine lately. It's working really well. Also, I've been struggling to get the EPS foam to suck down onto the suction cups without leaking. And so I've been using wood glue to fill the holes and that works really well. It doesn't melt the EPS foam. Once the blank was loaded up on the shaping machine, I started cutting out the deck. And I did a really big dish for the deck. I think that having that kind of reverse domed deck gets you nice and low over the foil, allows you to push on the rails, gives you some good leverage. It went super nicely, super smooth. I'm really happy with the finish. I've never shaped a board this thick before on my machine. Once the deck was finished, brought it back to the other side of my shop and trimmed off the excess foam around the outside of the board just so that the machine doesn't have to remove it, it saves a bunch of time. So I got the board loaded back up on the shaping machine and started cutting out the bottom of the board. So the main feature on the bottom is that knife edge going from the nose all the way to the beginning of the foil box. Basically I want this thing to be a paddling machine. I want to be up and going super fast. And when the board does touch down in the water, I want it to just slice through the water and not grab it in any way. On the tail, I made it decently thick. I wanted most of the volume in the board to be right over the tail so that there's not as much swing weight out over the nose, which makes it harder to pump. On the tail, I also put some really sharp release edges, a uh, nice tail cutout to help release the water and just kind of pop the board up out of the water. Once again, the board came out pretty much perfect. Even all of the sharp edges that I designed were insanely sharp. I'm super happy with how the machine worked on this one. It couldn't have gone any better. Once it was off the machine, it was just time to do a little bit of cleanup work by hand. All I'm doing here is super lightly sanding the EPS foam and getting rid of those ridges that the machine leaves. I used the 10 and a half inch Future Strong boxes for this. I forgot to include hollowing out this section to drop in the foil box on my machine code, so I had to do it by hand with a router afterwards. So I wanted to go full carbon fiber on this board, just keep it light and super stiff 
And I ended up going with a single layer of six ounce across almost the entire bottom of the board. And I put uh, a couple of tail patches over the foil box as well for extra strength. And Riley here helped me out with the lamination. And this is actually my first attempt at vacuum bagging a board. Now we're just dropping the peel ply on top so that the breather cloth doesn't get stuck to the carbon fiber while the epoxy is curing. And then we took it back over to my uh, machine side and threw it in my vacuum bag. I did a horrible job sealing all the holes and sealing the bag off before we put the board in. So Riley and I spent about an hour probably just like listening for little leaks and sealing them up before leaving the board overnight. The next morning, took the board out of the bag and started to peel off the breather cloth and the peel ply. A couple parts of it got stuck under the laps a little bit, but not a big deal. They'll sand it off pretty easily. I was super happy with how it turned out for a first try. There were a couple of little ridges that got left there by, by little crinkles in the vacuum bag. Next step was to start laminating the top, laminating the deck of the board. And so on this one, I did two layers of six ounce, but one of the layers was just a deck patch where I was gonna be standing. The rest of it, just a single layer of six ounce carbon fiber. After the first day vacuum bagging, the second half was much easier. I spent a lot more time pre-sealing the vacuum bag. We just basically threw it right in, it sealed up and then we left for the night again. then straight into hot coats. This first layer was actually more of a ceiling layer, so I just covered the entire deck of the board in epoxy resin and let it set, worked it into all the cracks and all the holes. Did it on the deck and the bottom. This is just the rough sand. Really just smoothing out the board, smoothing out any of the little lumps and bumps. It's definitely a lot more work sanding a foil board with so many crazy compound curves on it like this one compared to a normal surfboard. I spent hours sanding this thing. I went straight into another hot coat and this one is uh, more of a finishing coat.
did the deck, and then the bottom again. And then I did the rails separately. I really wanted to get nice sharp edges on the bottom of this board so the water releases from it. And so that's why I did it in three different steps. And then on to some more sanding. It was really tough for me to get enough resin to sit on all of these sharp edges to actually sand it without going into the carbon fiber, but after a couple layers I did manage to get enough resin sitting there without uh, too much weight on the board. This is the very first wave on the board. Almost killed my buddy Jeremy. First couple rides here. The board felt really nice. It, the whole goal of this shape was to move through the water as fast as possible and get up on the foil as early as possible. So it's not really meant for planing, it's just meant for displacing water. And it was definitely a fast board to paddle. It felt really good. I was able to get up on these tiny little waves. The only thing is I feel like I didn't put enough rocker in it. It is a pretty big board for a surf foil because it's supposed to be a wingboard surf foil crossover. The nose kept touching down on sharper turns sometimes and I would fall off. But not to worry because I made another one right away with more rocker in it and I actually got one of my rides on the webcam and here it is. It's working like a charm. <laughs> 